Hi, my name is Mike Massimino. I'm a former astronaut and currently an advisor here at the Intrepid Museum. And today I want to show you something very special, an object you can only find in a few places in the Western Hemisphere, a Russian Soyuz spacecraft that has actually been to space. The Soyuz spacecraft design dates back to the 1960s and was originally designed to go to the moon, but it never made it. Instead, it has flown consistently to space stations in low Earth orbit for decades. It can accommodate three people that lay on their backs with their knees bent and their feet in footrests. In front of them is the display and control panel. The first successful piloted flight of Soyuz was in 1968. Modified versions of the design continue to fly today. There have been over 100 launches of crewed Soyuz spacecraft to date. The spacecraft displayed here is Soyuz TMA-6, launched into space on April 15, 2005. One of the people on board was a private citizen, American engineer and entrepreneur, and my good friend, Greg Olson. Greg was the third private citizen to orbit Earth on the International Space Station, but he wasn't just along for the ride. He had to train for the flight and learn all the emergency procedures, just like every other cosmonaut and astronaut. The Russian Soyuz spacecraft and the American Space Shuttle both carried crew to and from the International Space Station. However, their designs were very different. Soyuz carries a maximum crew of three. The typical space shuttle crew was seven. A crewed Soyuz can carry only a small cargo, unlike the space shuttle, which could carry a payload of up to 65,000 pounds. And unlike the space shuttle that I flew into orbit, nothing on the Soyuz is reusable. The Soyuz has three basic parts. The orbital module, which crew members can occupy while in orbit before docking to the space station and it's discarded and burns up in the atmosphere when the crew returns home. The service module contains control thrusters, power supply, temperature control system, and communication equipment. This is also discarded and destroyed in the atmosphere when the crew returns home. The only part that returns to Earth is the descent and re-entry module. The crew members sit in this bell-like spacecraft for launch, re-entry, and landing. Soyuz TMA-6 is on loan from my good friend and fellow space flyer, Greg Olson. We are grateful for his generous support of this exhibit, and I personally am very grateful for his friendship. For more behind-the-scenes videos, visit intrepidmuseum.org.